This bass drum used to be 20 inches deep, 20 by 24. It was ridiculous. It sounded lousy, and it took up half the stage everywhere I went. So I decided to cut it down, and I cut it with a handsaw. And I measured a whole bunch of times, cut it once, cut it down to 13 inches. It's 13 by 24, and I trimmed the case to fit, and I cut it off of the back, the batter side, and uh, did not put a proper bearing edge on it. I didn't leave it square. I rounded it, but uh, nothing fancy. I mean, it's a bass drum. It doesn't take a whole lot to uh, get it to sound good. It sounds much better. As a 20-inch, it sounded like the world's biggest beach ball. I hated it. Like one of those old red uh, four-square balls back in grade school. It just, bang, horrible. So anyway cut it down. Um, that minimized that disgusting attribute. I also messed with the inside a little bit. I painted the inside with latex. Um, but there's, uh, there is no laundry in this thing. It's wide open and it sounds really good ambient and it records really nicely. Um, refer to any of my videos. I've been using this kit for uh, well, all of all of the videos, I think. Anyway, and it's going to sound even better on the next one. So, moral of the story, if you don't like, don't be afraid to modify your stuff. So, now I've got a one-of-a-kind bass drum. Someday I'll put a bearing edge on it, I don't, or maybe I won't. 